Hello and welcome to Holy Trinity's online holiday club. We can't meet in person this August, but we can have the same kind of fun online. Challenges, games, craft, songs. We're going to learn a bit of the Bible. We're going to have lots of things going on. And we're going to start by going over to our news team for the latest headlines. Hello! And welcome to HT News. My name's Jonah List. And I'm Ray, Ray Porter. Today's headlines. Church leader and his stick. Simon, the HT church leader, has found a stick. He found it whilst on holiday and thought, I've got to bring this stick home. And so he did. But what do his family think? Let's see. Oh, then, not that impressed. There we go. In other news. We have no news. We need your news. More on that later. And so, it's time for the weather. Over to Wayne. So it's not raining. Thanks. Wayne. Now it's time for birthdays. This week, Joshua turned five. Happy birthday, Joshua. Happy birthday. And now it's time for one of my favourite items of the week. The Find Something Random Challenge. My turn this week. You have 30 seconds to find. A toilet roll. Three, two, one, go. Anyway, that's it for us this week. Till next time. Bye-bye. Thanks, Jonah, Ray and Wayne. Uh, We're going to be going back to the news team every single week. And so if you have news, maybe something's happened to you this week, maybe a birthday, maybe a joke you want to share, or if in this video you have uh, done a craft, Uh, or you've completed the challenge and you want to send that in, a picture of it, a video of it, a story, please do send it in. The the email address is at uh, at the bottom of the video and uh, and the news team will report back to us all what's been going on. But now we're going to sing a song together. It's a song that we'll know if you've been at previous Holy Trinity Holiday Clubs. It's a great song. It's a song about who God is and how big he is, bigger than big. Maybe if you know the words, you can sing along with us. God, you made our big blue sky. You made the oceans deep and wide. God, you made the trees so tall. Your love is bigger than it all God, you're bigger than big Stronger than strong Yeah, you're mightier than mighty Louder than this song Your love for me stretches farther than far I can't imagine just how big you are Just how big you are You made our big blue sky 
You made the oceans deep and wide God, you made the trees so tall yeah. Your love is bigger than it all God, you're bigger than big Stronger than strong Yeah, you're mightier than mighty Louder than this song Your love for me stretches farther than far What a great song to sing together. Now, over the four weeks that we spend together, we're going to learn a Bible verse together. And we're going to do it fitness style. So I'm going to need you on your feet for this workout memory verse. I'm going to go over to Greg for it. Hi everybody, my name is Greg and I'm one of the All Age uh, Helpers at Holy Trinity um, and I've been given the task of sorting out the memory verse for this year's Holiday Club. So firstly, let's go through the memory verse. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this, while we were still sinners, Jesus died for us. Romans 5 verse 8. So this year's memory verse, I want to be full of energy and give you all a great fitness workout each week. Okay, so the first line, which should be across the bottom of your screen now, is, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we're saying that, what I want you to do is be sprinting on the spot. Okay, so, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. As fast as you can, say in that verse. Okay, now line number two, I've tried to split this into three, so sort of line number two is while we were still sinners, which again should be along the bottom of this screen, and on this one I want you doing a burpee, okay, so we're going to go down, hands on the floor, jump out, down to the floor, and then jump up, okay, so from the side, hands down, jump on the floor, snappy up okay imagine you're on your surfboard and you're jumping up to surf but while saying that line okay so are you ready one two three while well, we were still sinners and jump it up okay the third line is easy nice and short jesus died for us okay so we're just going to point up to jesus dies we're going to go into our cross and then for us we're just going to point on our chests okay so jesus died for us okay the last one then is the chapter and verse so this is romans 5 verse 8 so on this one for our romans what we're going to do is we're going to pretend we're on in one of those Roman battleships and we're on an oar and we're literally rowing into battle just like this okay so what we're going to do so we're going to row that oar Romans 5 and then we're going to spin it round do a little V for verse 8 or 8 Depends how your fingers work. Mine aren't very good. So verse 8. Okay. And that's the verse. Let's put this all together. Okay. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners. Jesus 
died for us. Romans 5 verse 8. Thank you, Greg. We're going to learn that Bible verse over the next few weeks and get fit in the process too. Now, the Bible is a pretty big book, right? But over these videos, we're going to learn the whole story of the Bible in just four words. What? Four? You'll see. Our first word for today is this. Wow. That's where the Bible starts. Because the Bible starts with God amazingly making everything, the universe, us, and loving us. He is amazing. Wow. There's a verse in the Bible that says this. You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power. That means God deserves to have everyone say wow to him and praise him because you created all things and by your choice they were created and have their being have you ever thought how amazing life is some people say the world and and we just came out of nothing that doesn't make sense, does it? The Bible says that this whole world, this whole universe came from God. It was his idea. Every star, every planet. Think of all the animals that you see in the world. All of them come from God. And then each of us too. Do you know what? You are incredible. God made us. We're all different. We all look different. We have different colour skin. We have different colour hair. We do different things. We'll all lead different lives. And yet this all came from God. Think of it. The fact that you can wave your arms, it comes from God. The fact that I can catch a grape in my mouth, that comes from God. You ready for this? Easy. It's all God's idea. That's because he's amazing. It didn't come from nowhere. It came from the one who made us. And that's why we say wow. I wonder if you ever said wow to God. Maybe you could. Because it's the first thing the Bible teaches us. God is not some boring person in the clouds. Not some angry man. He's the one who made us. He loves us and he wants us to be happy because he loves us. Wow. Now that's our first word, but we've got a lot more to learn over the next few weeks. But we start here. Wow. Simon is going to lead us in some prayers to this God that makes us go wow now. Thanks, Mark. Great to hear from you. As Mark said, my name's Simon, and I'm going to lead us in some prayers now. At the end of each prayer, I'm going to say Amen, and that's a way of joining in. So if you want to say the prayer too, then you say Amen at the end. We're going to start by praying for the world and thinking of the amazing world that God has made. This is going to be a wow prayer. So why don't you join me together? God, we thank you for an amazing world. Stars and planets, mountains and seas, trees, plants, animals friends, families and ourselves. Thank you God. And wow, what an amazing God you are to create it all and keep it all going. We want to say wow. Amen. As well as saying wow, we also want to say ow. Sometimes the world is painful and things don't work properly, do they? And so I'm going to put a plaster on this and we're going to pray an ow prayer. Dear God, when things aren't good or are painful, we say ow. We think now of the people with coronavirus, those who are sick, those who are caring for them, those who are stuck at home. Please help them. And we pray particularly for the people in a country called Lebanon where they had a terrible accident. Please be with them. Father God, we pray, ow. Please help them and us. Amen. 
Well, now we're going to pray for each other. This is a wee prayer for you and for me. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we pray for ourselves. We pray for safety for us and our families. We pray for a good summer holiday and pray that we would stop and praise you too, that we might say wow to you in our lives. Amen. Thanks for praying with me. Thanks, Simon, for leading us in prayer. Wow, we've got lots of things to think about already. And we are now going to have a time of craft. So a time for us to make something. And Sonia's going to guide us through uh, how to make this week's wow craft. And then if at the end you want to send in a picture of it to the news team, we'd love to see all your contributions. So over to Sonia. Hi. I'm Sonia and Imogen here is going to help me help you to create a wow picture. Today to help us make this craft all we need is a piece of paper, some paint if you have it or if you haven't some pens or pencils etc. I thought we would do um, a nice plant because God created the plants didn't he? So we're going to do a flower like the flowers in our garden but first we're going to get mucky. So Imogen I need you to help me. I need you to paint my foot. Do you think you can paint that for me? Yeah. for you kids and you've got smaller feet than I have so I'm going to do one half of the pretty flower here we go we want it at an angle like that and then lift it off there we go then of course got to paint the other foot and do it all over again but this time I want you to overlap it so I'll show you so you paint this foot and do your footprint, your overlap where your heel is, on that side. I'm going to show you one I've made earlier. Funnily, here we go. So it's not looking much like a flower, but it will do soon. What does a flower need? It's got its petals, but it needs a stem, doesn't it, Imogen? Shall we do a nice green stem? leaves as well, show it's nice and healthy. Wow, that's pretty good. That looks like a flower to me, I think. Do you? But hang on a minute, what if you don't have any paint? I know, you could just use paint. Go around your feet instead, like that, and colour them in whatever colour you like, because of course flowers come in all different colours. Right, back to our wow picture. Hang on a minute, there's something what about Jesus' love for us? Where is that in our picture to remind us? Well, if you look very carefully at the flower part of the picture, what shape do you think it makes? It makes a heart. It does, so let's draw a heart around it. Wow, look at that. We've got that all in one picture. God's creations and Jesus' love for us all in one picture. I hope you like making this as much as I did. See you soon. Bye. Thank you, Sonia. I am looking forward to seeing some pictures of your wow craft. Now, we're on to our last song, but this is a song with a challenge attached to it. We're going to sing a song called God Made Everything. And in this song, there is a list of loads of different things that God has made. At the end of the song, I want to see how many of those things you can remember. You're going to have 60 seconds to name any of the things that come up in the God Made Everything song. You need a pen and a paper and you can write it down yourself or maybe get someone else to write it down and you tell them what to write down and see how many you can get in 60 seconds. But first, and pay attention, Let's sing this wonderful song. God made everything. There's an ant plant, hand span, ham spam, jam tram, man, man, boy, girl, cheese flan. There's a car, spa, tar bar, aardvark, hard bark, shark, dog, park, walk, lark. God made everything you see. He made you and he made me. There's an ink link, pink drink, zinc blink, sink link. God made everything. 
There's a prawn lawn, dawn horn, pick tick, picnic, zoo zoo, lulu, toot toot. There's a hot spot, not pot, top cot, dot yacht, bees knees, flea ski sneeze. God made everything you see. He made you and he made me. There's a crane brain, mainframe, plane brain, plane rain. God made everything. Oh, God made everything you see. He made you and he made me. When you look everywhere, everywhere, stare. God made everything. There's an ant plant, hand span, ham span, jam tram, man man, boy girl, cheese flan. There's a car spa, tar bar, aardvark, hardbark, shark dog, park quark, lark. God made everything you see, he made you and he made me. There's an inkling, pink drink, zing bling, sink ring, God, God made everything. There's a brawn on dawn horn, pig tick, picnic, zoo zoo, 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 There's a hot spot, not pot, top cop, dot yacht, bees knees, fleece, fleece, sneeze. God made everything you see, he made you and he made me. There's a crane brain, mainframe, plane brain, plane rain, God made everything. Oh, God made everything you see, he made you and he made me. When you look everywhere, everywhere, say God made everything. God made everything. God made everything. Okay, there's the song. Great song, isn't it? But how many of those things that God made can you remember? Have you got your pen and paper? You ready for this? You're gonna have 60 seconds to write down as many of those things as you can remember. Your 60 seconds starts now. Okay, how do you think you did? Uh, here is a list of all the things that came up in that song, in case there are a few you weren't sure about. I wonder what your total score was. And why don't you send that score into the news team so that next week we'll see who has won the God Made Everything Challenge. Guys, thank you so much for being with us for this first holiday club. Please join us again next week as we'll look at our second word. Wow. The second word will be next week. And please, in the meantime, send in your stories, your pictures, uh, what you've been doing this week, maybe a joke, to the news team. The email address that you'll need for that is down at the bottom of this video. Until then, see ya. The fact that I can catch a grape in my mouth. That wasn't a bad. It was a rubbish throw. <laughs> um.